The Republicans win. The Liberals, you haven't lost the contract with me, but you're definitely suspended. Look at all these nice songs I came out with you. MAGA Traders, another Republican shooter, uh, mass shooting, you pulled the trigger. Eat the Rich. Here come the religious monkey people, the bomb. Not a single liberal has shown some appreciation and jumped on these trends, used any of these songs in their TikToks. Uh, we're all part of the government. That one, I thought yeah, that would hit. I mean, you know, you mean to tell me no you know, service members, police, firemen, educators, people who work for the transportation department, uh, want a song about them and after all the attacks on the government. Everybody who put a Ukraine flag on their profile, they don't want a song about how the MAGA are traitors for backing Russia. All the shootings going on, nobody wants a song about how the Republicans just work for the NRA. AOC, tax the rich. Nobody wants a song about eating the rich. All the atheists out there, nobody wants a song for their religion or lack of religion, however you look at it. A lot of these songs I wrote in response to my TikToks getting deleted. I think I've covered most of my bases here that things I was attacked on and kind of got even and created some great songs in the process. And I know a lot of people are struggling out there. You don't even have to buy anything to support me. You have to go stream the songs and use them in your TikToks under OG Contraband. So I'm not doing any more extreme like liberal songs here coming up. I guess I decided or, you know, the liberals decided for me. I'm not really going to switch teams. I will never make an anti-gay song or something like that. And one song that did hit was the Don't Say Gay song. So if I do make any kind of political type song, it will probably be something for the gay community since that was the last kind of social media based song that got any uh, traction for me. So what am I going to do? First of all, I like this thing I'm doing where every album has its own little cover and I kind of find an equilibrium point where it's a speed at which I can release new songs and make little videos and 3D animations and stuff for them to promote. Uh, I'm going to continue with this amazing drum style you hear in Eat the Rich and I think I'm going to try to use that to do a mix between reggae and dubstep. So look for the new singles to be in that style.